Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the Waking Flame DLC. Now that I'm done with all stamina classes except of Stampler, I will start to pass with all Magicka classes. I did a couple of passes with my Magicka Necromancer, also with Medium Armor, yes, since Medium Armor gives crit damage and spell damage now, but 6 light and 1 medium are still best in slot on a dummy in raids, probably 2 medium, 5 light armor. I used a full dot rotation, like in the previous patch, but if you prefer one with a spammable, I can upload a pass with scouts as spammable. The rotation explanation will be in the description below, since I used the exact same skills uh, like in the previous patch. Enjoy the pass, afterwards I show you the build showcase. Here we go with the build showcase 104 
0.5 k dps over 3 k more than last patch probably because of this set here bar size it gives a maximum of 15 percent more damage based on your missing magicka that's why i drained my magicka before i even passed with seed shield it's a must-have for every progress group nowadays really really strong stronger than mother sorrow and medusa or Ceroria, depends on the setup. But yeah, really strong. Use it, guys. Then one Slime Core and one Harpoon Swelling Kilt. If you don't have access to mythic items, just go with double crit here with one Slime Core and one Zahn. On the front bar, Diamond's Victory with two daggers. It's a craftable set, perfect for Necros since we can. Uh, get both buffs the melee and the range buff with blast bolts i don't know why but blast bolts counts as melee and range ability so perfect for diamonds victory and on the back bar still the milestone inferno stuff there is no other option to be honest it's still the strongest back bar arena set traits full but thirsty on the jewelry double precise on the front bar and fuse back bar I used a flame and a poison chant on the daggers and on the back bar still the berserker glyph. Quick look on the skills. Avid Boneyard for extra damage with the Omen Synergy. Then Blast Bones, Degeneration, Detonating Siphon, the Stamina Morph deals a little bit more damage than the Magic One, Inner Light and Shooting Star. Back bar, Mystic Orb, Unstable of Fire, Barb Trap, Scowling Rune, Skeletal Arcanist, and Fury Rage, the Death Ultimate. In Raids, you probably have to use Colossus for major vulnerability. Raise still Kashid for extra 12% crit damage. High Elf and Dharma should be also fine. Bonus, the Thief Bonus for extra crit rate. And the Ice Cream as Buff Food. In raids, you would probably even use the green Max Magica food. 64 points in Magica. And potions, the spare power potions with Magica, Sorcery, and Prophecy. Quick look on the CPs Blue ones, Tomaturge, Master at Arms, Backstabber, and Fighting Finesse. If you can't flank the enemy, swap Backstabber for. Fighting Aura, for example. Red runs Celerity for 10% extra movement speed. Fortified, Boundless Vitality, and Bastion. I don't use Rejuvenation just because we have to uh, keep our Magicka pool as low as possible to get the maximum DPS of Barzais. That's it with another PvE build for the Waking Flame DLC. Next one will be probably a Magicka Sorcerer. If you like my content, don't forget to sub my channel, over 80% are still not subbed, do me the favor and support me guys. I wish you all a fantastic summer and I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!